Amen. 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 Please take your seat. I have, I think, five or so minutes. I just take one or two prayer points. Um, I'm sorry, ma'am. I'll come to pray. It's all right. Um, uh, I was asked to take a prayer point on um, the fruit of the womb. <laughs> the fruit of the womb. And um, let me show you why we are praying for the fruit of the womb. Genesis chapter number three. Genesis chapter three. Interesting. Wow. Genesis chapter number 3, verse number 15. So, ma'am, you are married to a Kikuyu? Muranga? Interesting. That's why I'm saying interesting. I thought he is I am. Wow. Ah, okay. <laughs> Genesis chapter 3, verse, you know, Genesis chapter 3, verse 15. Let's read it so that you see something. I'll just read three verses we pray. Genesis 3, verse 15. Read it, sir, for us as we get it. Uh -huh. And I will put an enmity between you and the woman. So now, so God, God, so man has sinned, man has fallen. And our God has spoken to the woman, and now he is speaking to the serpent. And he says something we need to pick as we are praying for the fruit of the womb. Uh -huh. And between your seed and her seed. Now, I want you to see something very interesting. God says to Satan, I'll put enmity between you, Satan, and the woman. But my emphasis is D, and between the seed of Satan and the seed of the woman. Now, the seed there is the word offspring. So it gives me to tell, it begins to give me an idea that are in every generation, just as women have children, just as families have children. Satan too also crafts and comes up with offspring. So it means the demon our children are facing, I'm a father of two very hot girls. Uh, Mom, next time I'll come with uh, my wife, the children at least, the youngest will be at least six months, so I'll come with her. So that apostle, apostle, apostle can, uh, can see what I'm doing to her. All right, so Satan for me, according to the scripture, it's like he keeps on evolving with every generation. So if you and I don't understand such scriptures, we will keep on losing our children. It's interesting that the battle now here shifts from now just the woman and Satan to the seed of woman and the seed of Satan. So I have discovered that for you and I who are born again, for you and I who believe in Christ Jesus, for you and I who have submitted to the Lordship of Christ Jesus, we need to be so sober to the fact that Satan is committed to fight our children. You may not like it, you may not even think about it, but ignorance has never been a defense. He says in Acts chapter 17 verse number 30, the days, sure, the days of ignorance the Lord has overlooked. And now he calls all men unto repentance. The repentance there is a change of mind. is a change of attitude and perspective. So I want us to pray for our seed. And I will just take two more verses. Just two more verses on that prayer point. Then I will make one and we are done. Jump to the book of Exodus chapter 28 verse number 1. So you have seen the battle is between the woman and Satan. The seed of the woman and the seed of Satan. Uh, look at, and he says, is the seed of the woman that will crush the head of the serpent. An apostle said that you cannot overcome that which is above you. So then according to the mind of the Lord right from Genesis, was that the, our seed, the fruit of our womb, our children, may always be reigning over Satan in the name of Jesus. So we need to understand this for us to legislate properly in our prayers. Now, when you look at Exodus chapter 28, verse number 1, look at it. Exodus 28, verse number 1, he says, Now take Aaron, your brother, and Husa, and his sons with him, and do what? Among the children of Israel, that they may minister to me as priests. Now, I wanted you to see a pattern here, sir. That when God was thinking of priesthood, he said, Our priesthood is incomplete. If all we have is us who are apostles, prophets, and then our children don't want it. We are about to pray for our children. It means, ma'am, your children must walk in apostleship too in the name of Jesus. Please hear me. This thing has nothing to do with whether your children want. 
as you sit down, he came to pray. So look at what he says. Take, take, sir, look at it, sir. Take Aaron, your brother, and his sons. Look at it. From a man, from a saying, they are seated, all of them as children of Israel. He says, separate. Or set apart. Or consecrate. He says, Aaron, your brother, and his sons, from among the Israel. He says, why? That they may minister to me. The word minister is there, serve. That they may serve me as priests. So God has always desired that you and I will serve God with our children. Oh yeah. I'm prophesying to someone in the name of Jesus. That your children will serve your God. Hi, hi, hi. He is the God of Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, and Josiah. He says, look unto your father Abraham. Meaning that's our lineage. Yes, sir. So it should not be said, ma'am, that God, you see, one of the things I have an issue with is when they try, begin to try me, tell me that children of pastors are bad. You know, it's an error that my daughters will not prophesy. They don't need to be laid hands on to prophesy. It's part of their heritage. You're not hearing what you're talking about. It's in them. For example, I don't need to pray to know I'm a man. Even if we need a mama, I know, me deep down, I know. I know I'm not. So can you imagine how you found me, man of God, saying in the name of Jesus, I'm not a woman, kaba, kaba. It will be a waste of time. I wake up feeling like a woman. It does not change that I'm a man. Now hear me, your seed is blessed. Now, man of God, sit down for a minute, you start. Look at Acts, so that before someone is arguing, you know, so I'm a prophet, I told you. So I hear when people are arguing. Someone is arguing, he's saying this is in the Old Testament. Let me show you something. Acts chapter 21, verse number 9. I want you to see, it's a pattern from Genesis to Revelation. Our children must serve our God. I'm telling you, prophetess, heavily. Because now we'll be friends from now on. When I'll come to see your children, I'll prophesy that they'll prophesy. And, yeah, 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 yeah. What do you think, sir? It's part of our heritage. So if I'm a singer, my children must sing. I mean, when I see his elder daughter singing, I say, wow. I saw the other day, I saw a video of the young one. I say, dear Lord, this is priesthood. And as a matter of fact, I don't have time, so I will not get into it, but let me just mention it. In the New Testament, kingship and priesthood is on us. So this is what you pick from Genesis to Revelation. Kingship would be passed to sons. <laughs> That's the pattern of the kingship. It's David is passing to Solomon. So the pattern of kingship, sir, has always been father, son. Priesthood is father. I'm talking of you and I. In our times, let me let me let me say this because there are so many ministers here, and so that no one will get angry when God begins to do certain things with the children of pastors. It does no need prayer for my child to be a pastor. I don't want to get into prayer. Let me, let me not get into trouble. Let, let's, but this is a fact. I would be very disturbed if my daughter kept on saying, Father, I need to pray for 29 days to hear whether I should serve. From, who gave them that? Kingship. And when a child, a child born of royalty, does not struggle to know they are princes. Why should our children struggle to know Hakino Kaso Sale Manahe? It does not work that way, sir. So look at 21 verse number 9 of, uh, of, uh, of Acts. Look at Acts 21 verse 9. He says, now this man, he's talking of who? Of Stephen. He says, now this man had four virgin daughters. Who did what? If you look at that verse in something like the Amplified Bible, Amplified Classic, he says he had four daughters who had the gift of prophecy. Yeah, yeah, okay. Kino Caesar, Zazuzai. What did he say, sir? The daughters were prophesying. They were daughters of a man of God. Please hear me. What is it we will give our children beyond money? When we pray for them, it's good they have money and influence. But what is this other thing? They must have a spiritual advantage in the name of Jesus. I'm saying you are accepting this light in the name of Jesus. The daughters were 
prophesy. Let me even take it deeper. Jump to Joshua chapter number 24 and look at verse number 15. Two more verses. I said how many, sir? Three? So this is there are two more. Just one, and we, are, we pray now. Look at Joshua chapter 24, verse number 15. Hear what the man of God said. This is the audacity of someone who has walked with God. Joshua 24, verse 15. Ah, you got it, sir. Read it. And if it seems evil to you to serve the so Lord. So he tells the people, if it seems evil for you to minister or serve the Lord, do something. Uh -huh. Choose for yourselves this day uh -huh. whom you will serve, uh -huh. whether the gods with which your father served that were on, on the, the other, other side. side of the river, uh -huh. or the gods of the Amorites, uh -huh. in whose land you dwell. Uh -huh. But as for me and my house. Hold on. Hold on. So meaning a man, a woman of God like you and I, tonight can make a decision. I know that as for me, please hear me, we don't consult on matters of which altar our children will serve. We don't call for a family gathering. This kingdom is not democratic. It's called theocratic. Theocratic is God-cratic. So we cannot sit here, and now I call my children and tell them, oh, one is called Wendell. Wendell, mommy, do you want to serve God? I tell me, no, 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 perhaps I'll consider. I call the other one, is called Riri. Riri, what do you think? She'll say, all right, let me wait on God. It doesn't work that way. No. I sit in my place at Woman Travel this afternoon. I say, in the name of Jesus, I rise as a father. Karusi katele kataya. As for me and my... The pattern is, let me tell you what is the house there. My time is up. Let me tell you what is the house there. The house there was not just the children. It includes the servants who serve. You know why, mom? God gave me a revelation. My daughter is about to go to school in September. That's when her time starts. And God told me, if you don't pray for those who serve in your house and those who serve her in school, Satan will use them to disciple her. Receive understanding. If Satan knows that you don't care about who is your house help, who is the driver of your children, who is the teacher of your children, because they spend more time there than you and I, Satan will, I'm telling you. So when we are praying for the fruit of the womb, we are praying for everyone connected to our children in the name of ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. When the Israelites were going through the wilderness, God did something, sir. By day, because the wilderness is hot, they had a cloud. It's called an AC. <laughs> By night, because the wilderness is cold, they had a pillar of fire. It's called a heater system. You must understand something. When we are praying for our children here, we are saying by day and by night, let the Lord... You, are you married? How old are you? Greet me. How old are you? You have 20 what? I know you. I'll prophesy to you in a minute. Relax like that. Ah. Ah. Professor. All right. R read me a verse first. <laughs> Distract me with a verse. Behold, I and the children whom the you Lord know, hold has... Hold on, hold on. You know, in a prophetic atmosphere, Mom, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I missed the prayers. I'm sorry, Mom. Please forgive me in the name of Jesus. You have to still love me as your brother. But well, this is what the problem is. When you appear before a prophet, even how you sit attracts something. So he cannot be seated the way he was seated, and I don't catch something. All right. So if I said membly, what would you think? If I said membly, what would you think? For trace, right? That's your house. All right, somebody say prophesy. We'll come to you in a minute. I'll tell you what has happened to him. <laughs> read the verse. Read the, oh, no, no, read the verse. Read the verse. We'll go. <laughs> Isaiah chapter 8. Isaiah chapter 8. We need to go. Oh, no, 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 no. no. Mom, mom, mom needs to give us a word. Oh, no, no. Mom will call me to come and prophesy. He says, chapter 8. God is saying, through dancing, stand. Start dancing. Dance. Dance, I tell you what is happening dance. here. Dance. You see the way he is afraid to do it. As I said, memory, I saw him dancing. 
And the Spirit of God told me, if he can give me a dance, I can shift him to new level. <laughs> Sir, I don't know you. Okay. All right. How many ladies have you spoken to before here? Say prophesy. As I said, well, you know, he is trying to argue. <laughs> sir, I don't try to prophesy. Prophesy, sir. So let's leave that one so that we are friends. Go, dance. Do a dance. Do a dance, sir. Do a dance without a beat. Do a dance. Do a dance. You see, now this is where the problem is. He is praying for intervention and breakthrough. God is saying, let them dance. All right, let's read this one we pray. We'll come, mom, we organize a prophet. <laughs> he is dancing, yeah? yeah that's a, eh? He is a dancer. And you are still not convinced. I wanted to show him something. But God told me to Takwasana. So, <laughs> so I left it. So, sir, that dancing thing, take it seriously. Yeah? There is a grace for it from the Lord. In the name of Jesus. Father, we pray for your son. And we ask that you strengthen him strengthen him you see the same way it's not hard to come up with a move it's the same way i'm praying for your mind to begin to receive ideas the apostle says in ephesians chapter 1 from verse number 17 and 18 he says having the eyes of your mind enlightened the word is flooded with light that you may know the hope to which god calls you i pray that from now on your mind will begin to be creative in new ways in the name of Jesus. Father, we give you praise. Mom, my last verse. I will not do another one. I'm, I'm sorry. Isaiah chapter 8, verse 18 in Amplified Bible. He says, take it, sir, for us. Behold, mm. I and the children whom the Lord has given me uh -huh. are signs and wonders. Now, I want you to read this one. Listen carefully. I and who, sir? And the children. You see, there is something I want, for example, every parent to pick. That's why I'm taking time there before we pray. That, sir, you can sit in your office as the parent. I hope you know a parent is not just because you gave a seed or you carried. It's an office you sit in in the spiritual. He says, I and the children, ah, the Lord has given me. So me, 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 mom, mom, I'll pray. God, part of this thing God said I should pray for is for anyone who has been told they cannot conceive. You know me, Apostle, I don't know if I have told you. I took five years after being married to get a child. So at three years, I who sees, I was sleeping at night. Three years, my wife had caught a pregnancy. And at three years, I had a dream. And in the dream, the child was taken. We woke up and the pregnancy was gone. And it took another one year to catch pregnancy. The moment I held my first daughter like this, God told me I have given you the anointing for babies. He told me whether you are eating or praying, when you speak to them, ums will hear. I, in this kingdom, you give what you have. Such as I have, I give to you. So you, I, you, you see, for you to say such as I have, you must know what you have. So it's not bragging, it's knowing what you have. Peter said silver and gold I don't have. But me, I have silver and gold. So, but such as I have, I have something superior. Yes, I give unto. Then he said, in the name of Jesus. He said, rise up and walk. So, mom, God said I should pray for everyone trusting God for a child. Amen. You know that thing called something like fibroids? What, what is that thing? That thing will disappear. Yes, Not tomorrow. Before we are done here, you come to testify. Yes. What kind of a God is this we are talking about? Look at what he said. Behold, listen carefully. He said, here I am. I and the children the Lord has given. Now, the connection has to be Psalm 127 verse number 3. He says, children are reward from the Lord. He says, the fruit of the womb is a heritage from the master. Now, the portion translation says, children are a love gift. You know, like when you bring me a nice suit, you tell me, prof, this is a love gift. Now when God looks at his people, Genesis 1.28, let them be fruitful. He says, let me give them a love gift. So if really God loves us, John 3.16, for God so loved, if really he loves, part of the gift he gives out of love is children. So mom, I'm prophesying in the name of Jesus that your ministry will be characterized with babies. That your ministry will be characterized with children. 
in the name of Je that mom as you'll be ministering let the anointing work on the wombs of women let the anointing work on the wombs of women in the name of Jesus he says I and the children whom the Lord has given me and KJV says we are for signs I want to amplify it because he said we are signs that walk up So God is looking for a people to use across generations. I read the last verse. I'm done. Psalm 78, verse number 4 and 5 in the message, sir. Look for message Bible there, sir. Psalm 78, verse 4 and 5. Read, read it so that you hear what it says. It's such a beautiful one. So that I make a statement, then we pray for two minutes, and then mom will take over. Hallelujah. If God asked you, sir, name three things you want from him, what would they be? Three. One. Ah, three. Hey, one. You said grace, sister grace or grace? Grace, right? Two. Financial breakthrough, right? Three. Three. A good life. Apostle, come. You see, we must learn. He said grace. And uh, when God ascended, he gave what, sir? When he ascended. Apostle, you are musical, right? You don't hope to be musical, you are. So it's a proven grace. Yeah. I want you to lay hands on this young man wherever you feel like laying hands on him. That, sir, I'm very, do you speak in tongues? Yes, that's what I want you to start. C can we have anyone else playing? Must you be the one playing? Do we have anyone? Who is that? Sir? You want to play that or here? Come and play here so that I see you. Huh? Ah, it's you. No, 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 no. Let him play. I'll tell you why. Prophetically, is the one who has faith. You see, don't, don't play. You don't even play. You play. You, you play. Sir, stand. Apostle, hug the young man for me. Sir, as you are being hugged, do you want to speak in tongues? Oh, my, you don't like the drama. <laughs> you know, in this kingdom, we advance dramatically. It's part of being the prophetic. You know, without prophesying, I'm a very organized person. Problem, problem is when I begin to pray, <laughs> I don't even talk much. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Yamatoba Ladahai. Hey, Rena Moshabala Nahai. seated let's hold our hands for just one minute let's hold our hands as we are seated please hold the hand of your neighbor if you can oh yes keep playing that let's hold our hands and for a minute open your mouth and begin to pray as we are praying let there be a transmission of grace let there be a communication of grace let there be a transmission of grace let there be a communication and impartation and a release of grace in the name of Jesus. Melendo Kosai, Reno Separuti Kadi, Ete Kobo Sebele Kote Gedia. We are praying for our families. Mende Kosai, Liko Sikate Lege de Gebeda, Melutilano Semele Nekai, Iziza Zuza Zizaya. We judge every manner of sickness. We judge every manner of ailment. We speak total healing upon the bodies of every one of us here. 
Liko sete kelina lanu simande gedia riba sonde gedi riba luta legesea izi zaluti gadi laraba sherere eshere gede gede liato mesepe pelusi pati liko nde somea ezu zazila kadai rata nde gede gede esemento ka liapo sepa re Pa shepai likoyande kosenai maziza zia riaponde kosei ete korose ketekete somebody is praying man ke kodia riapose ketia my children will not be ordinary my children will not be ordinary they contact the grace of god ali ali they rise in life ali they see the glory of god ali they carry the glory of god Somebody pray, who see my pain? It take us to cut the car. Ria Pande Shobenai, Ito Paya Paswati, Rapaya Day, Eshaya Day, Rapakaya Da, Raposo Kada, we speak a new day. Ante Gadi Gadi Gadiya, let the fear of God be planted in our children. Let the fear of God be cemented in the hearts of our children. Rafaya gade, arua sele gade, ria pakata, repaya ka, ashita kataya. Twenty more seconds, somebody pray. Arua shoketa, eke shoke gade gade dia, rafaka daga 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 da, esheta, biklea, bikri, kame, kame. In the name of Jesus, and now in the name of Jesus, I place that name of Jesus upon every one of us. He said in Numbers chapter 6, this is what you shall say to Aaron and his sons whenever my people gather as they bless them. One of the things he said is that let them place that name upon them. Please hear me. Whatever you need is in the wonderful name of Jesus. He said whatever you do, whether in word or deed, he said do it in this wonderful name. I don't know if we can see Numbers chapter 6, then I, I release a blessing and I sit down. Numbers chapter 6, look at verse number 25, 26. I don't know if you can get it in something like message, message Bible or CV, wherever you can get it. Sir, you got it there? Yes, sir. What is that you're using? You yes, have a message, sir? Who is project? All right. You have it, sir? Message Bible? All right. I don't know if you can read it, sir, from 24. God bless you uh -huh. and keep you. Uh -huh. God smile start, on you. Start with verse 24. God spoke to Moses, uh -huh. tell Aaron and uh -huh. his sons, uh -huh. this is how you are to bless the people of Israel. Uh -huh. Say to them, uh -huh. God bless you uh -huh. and keep you. Uh -huh. God smile on you uh -huh. and uh -huh. gift you. Uh -huh. God look you full in the face. Look at it. God smile on you and gift you. And gift you. This is what NKGB says, let him shine his face upon you. Modern translation says, God smile on you. And how you know he has smiled on you, sir? He gives you. Kana. And we have said children are loved. Mom, we are agreeing concerning everyone trusting God for a child. That God will smile on you this afternoon. And that your womb will be open in the name of Jesus. I'm saying the Lord is smiling on you in the name of Jesus. And that he is gifting you with twins, triplets, and whichever number of children that you desire. In the name of Jesus. That one of the testimonies from this edition will 
be that I left here and caught a seed. He says, by five, Sarah received strength to conceive. Meaning there is something that goes beyond a human sperm. It's the seed of the word, sir. So we are saying, let God smile upon every one of us in the name of Jesus. And let him gift every one of us in the name of Jesus. Finish the verse, sir. We go. God look you in the face. Atta. God look you in the face. without blinking. And do what, sir? And make you prosper. Then he said, in doing so, they will place my name. They will place my name. So as you leave woman travel, whether what you love is Jehovah Lapha, he places his name. May I love Jesus, the fullness of God. Yes, sir. So we are placing the name of the Lord in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let that name be placed upon every one of us. I'm saying let that name be placed upon every one of us. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to thank him. Rashana Manakaya. Melose. You want to sing a song, sir? Sing a song. Malino Sekra. 